choking. Hey guys, how's that bite? Glad you made it back to the channel. I'm Miguel Milenciano, and this is Evolution Angler Bass. Today I have another What's in the Box, ripe and ready, you. And today we're gonna be covering Spring Swim Bait. So not only is this package coming courtesy of Tackle Warehouse, but it's pretty much geared to Huddleston Deluxe. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's see what we got in the mail this time. Tackle Warehouse stickers, time they doubled up. Maybe one fell through the cracks, maybe they had an extra one, but either way. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie to you. I sorta of jumped into this package. There was one lure in here that was really calling out my name and I was itching to go fish it, and I did. So I'm gonna start out with that one and you'll see what I mean in a second by I may have fished it a little bit. So first we're gonna have the Huddleston Weedless Shad Swim Bait. And this thing is fish catching machine. This is what I took out. So it's gonna be four and a quarter inches, five eighth ounce. This here is the Golden Shiner pattern. It is weedless, does have a collapsible body here. Comes with a 3 out mustad black nickel hook. It is weighted here in the belly, so it does have a belly fall. Combination of this lure in terms of the feel and then the appearance, it's just, I think that's what makes it a fish catcher and then you're gonna have that a scaled down mini version but that classic true and tried Huddleston thump tail. I mean, then already as if it isn't weedless enough, that collapsible body again, it does have that horizontal line tie so it just gives it that extra touch of weedlessness, helps you with the hook sets in terms of the collapsible body again. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to say other than maybe my one complaint about this lure is like, you have to go through a ton of fish to get to a big one but I'm a finesse guy and I guess that was really the reason why I couldn't wait to open this lure I mean I just want to get out there and catch fish you know for someone with my methodology that big one is gonna come somewhere down the line it's gonna be mixed in with the ones that you're catching and not to say that the, everything you're catching are dinks I guess in terms of hits and home runs I'm a hit kind of guy and this lure was a hit with me so what did I fish this on. I would fish this on a medium fast action spinning or bait casting rod. He is fast action. You'll probably get away with moderate fast as well. But the thing is, remember, you're gonna have that weedless hook. The body is collapsible, but that triple lot mustad, you're gonna have to have some backbone in that rod to just really yank them in, to really set that hook. And I'm gonna be accompanying that rod with 10 to 12 pound braid. And depending on where you wanna fish this lure at, I personally wouldn't put mono on it, you can. I would go more with eight to 10 pound floral so you could fish it up and down in the water column. Remember, we're dealing with a light lure here unless you go with really light line. I fish this on a six speed gear ratio reel just because if I wanna fish it fast, I can. You could always throw a little muscle in it, but the way that I was approaching fishing this here, be in between pads, along the edges of pads, just letting it rise and fall really subsurface. Again, just creeping it in in between there and yeah it was just getting ton of bites you know this is going to be the kind of lure that's great in a tournament situation where you want to get your limit going or if you're out on an outing just want to put fish in the boat where size doesn't matter then this huddleston shad good so yeah that's going to be the four and a quarter inch weedless Hud Shad in Golden Shiner pattern. Then I told you this was a Huddleston takeover and here we have the Huddleston Bluegill. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out for you. So this also is gonna be sort of hard to grip. This also is gonna be four and a quarter. However, this is gonna be one and a half ounces. So the deal with this is, this is gonna be a top hook bait. It is gonna be weedless, see there. I would say it does have a semi-collapsible body, not as much as the Shad, but, whoa, put some worm oil on these. These are all juiced up and ready to go. Anyway, do have a, a little bit of give here. It is in the crappie pattern, super realistic look, very nice. It does have the thumb tail again. What 
I liked about this lore is that it's a bluegill lore, but look at how compact. This is my hand, open palm. I could probably stack two, two and a half of these up, no problem. So we're talking a small profile, but at the same time, you know, pretty filled in, pretty chunky. This is a great offering for a bass. The rate of fall on this one is going to be 12. Um, it was slim pickings and tackle warehouse for everything huddles. If I would have had my way, I would have gotten the rate of fall five on the bluegill hud, but there's a couple fisheries around where I can apply this in and not to say that you can fish it shallow you can fish it shallow you just have to burn a little bit more fish it a little bit more fast pace or again find deeper structure that you're willing to explore with this bed fishing as well is pretty good uh, on the yo-yo it does have the even keel fall yeah I just I'm impressed with the lore I like it I hope I catch uh, some decent fish so I would fish this on a medium heavy heavy fast action rod again um i wouldn't now we're stepping up in terms of weight making it easier for fish to throw hooks but at the same time more challenging to drive that hook into the fish's mouth so i wouldn't go anything less than a fast action you're gonna want all that backbone with this being a four and a half inch and at the same time right there at one and a half ounce there are a lot of stout medium heavy rods that you can use i have some remember every company is different but generally i would use this on a medium heavy 50 to 60 pound braid anywhere from 17 to 20 pound liter floral and i'd fish this on a little bit faster reel a seven or an eight. Uh, remember, you can, this is meant to exploit deeper structure just to get a nice big old bite in areas where you can't necessarily see with your eye. But again, it doesn't mean that you can't burn this across an expansive grass flat or in the shallows along the bank or yo-yoing it up and along beds or, you know, whatever. Anything having to do shallow. You could also burn it, Stop it right at cover and just let it fall and then burn it again towards. All right, next we have the six inch Huddleston Deluxe Trout. Take this out for you. Again, match the hatch deal for me. I got in the golden shiner pattern. So this is gonna be smaller than the original. The original is the eight inch. Again, it was slim pickings when I was in the market for these over at Tackle Warehouse. I was very happy to get anything at all, especially two of them, which were a match to hatch deal for me. Um, this being one of them it does have the exposed hook. It is going to have the weighted belly. It is going to have the belly fall. It's going to have the thump tail. It has extremely realistic movement in the water. This is going to weigh in at two ounces. Of course, it has the chunk tail, which displaces water and something about this lure. This is this lure has crazy amounts of drawing power. I mean, absolutely insane. This I will put right up there with other lures like the S waiver or the Zara Spook, you know, something like that that has a lot of drawing power. And again, this is rate of fall of five feet. So it has extremely slow sink. You can fish this pretty much almost as a top water if you wanted to, but really subsurface or in that one to two feet in the water column. Prototypically, what you're gonna want is for these bass to feed up on it or out from cover so again you're gonna want in that first one two maybe three feet i wouldn't necessarily let it fall the whole five you're gonna want to fish this on again a medium heavy to heavy fast action rod on this one i'm gonna lean more towards a heavy rod just because you're dealing now with that extra half ounce you're at two ounces now yeah 50 to 65 pound braid and me personally, I wouldn't attach a leader to this. Reason being because the rate of fall is five feet. So again, you're gonna, I want it anyway, up in the water column, no more than three feet submerged. Mono can help it rise, but at the same time, mono is gonna have that stretch. And with this big old hook, even though it's exposed for a two ounce lure, you're gonna wanna set that hook really, really well. But if you must have a leader, I would go, in this case, dealer's choice, mono or, or floral. Remember, mono's gonna have that stretch, 
but it is going to have that rise. It's going to stay up. Now, if you're dealing with something where the rate of fall is more than zero or five, then I would go with floral. Same deal, 20, 25 pounds. Fishing this, I would fish this slow, subsurface, and I'm gonna wanna fish this extra slow past prime, obvious locations. Doesn't matter if they're heavily pressured or not, because now what we're dealing with is big lure with a lot, a lot of drawing power. And remember, big bass are super dominant. They're gonna take up the best prime locations, so expect the big bass to be in that lay down that you spotted or that you know about in Lake X or by that boulder patch that you know is just waiting for you in Lake Y, this is the lure for that. So you slow down almost to a creep, to a crawl again, which is why I got it rate of fall five. I would have got it rate of fall zero just wasn't available but this is something that i'm really just gonna stop around prime cover just let it chill give it a flick or two and then keep it moving and hope for a bite i know it's gonna come but this is how i plan on fish you're gonna want to keep your rod tip super low with that butt of that rod tucked into your forearm cadence is on you if you want to burn it again i want to go super slow maybe you could play around slow it down sometime but as soon as you feel that bite you're going to want to do a sweeping hook set to the side and do not give up any slack. Part of the gear that goes with big swim bait fishing is going to be a fast reel. And that's because you just want to horse them in, get them into the boat. No playing around. Don't give them room to jump. Remember, we're talking two ounces. This is something heavy that they can use on you to their advantage and use to leverage off and just jump up and come off. So keep that rod tip low, keep the butt of the rod tucked into your forearm. As soon as you feel that thump, thump, that heavy bite, sweep to the right or sweep to the left, one of the two, and just haul them in. Get them in the boat, because if you don't, you won't. So yeah, that's gonna be the six inch Huddleston Deluxe Golden Shiner trout. Then we have an appearance from Do It Molds. Good old trusty do it molds. I'll definitely leave a link in the description down below, not only to the lures, but to the do it molds website. Super pumped about this. Let me show you why. So here we have the do it molds essential series, six inch swim bait mold. This thing is a straight bohemian. I took the liberty and went ahead and already prepped one for us. And this is what I got going. So. So this is just a prototype a concept I'm thinking of. I may tweak a little bit. I may have some orange or some red coming out, but this is a perch pattern lure and I do have a dip in more plastisol. So it's not exactly right, but look at that giant. This swim bait may be bigger than some of the things I catch sometimes. And if you're wondering what eyes are on this, wonder no more. We have the fish skull living eyes, and I'll take them out for you, in something they call their wind pattern in 10 millimeter. And this is definitely on Tackle Warehouse. I will leave a link in the description again. And that is gonna conclude today's episode. So yeah, you know, a little bit of playing around to do. I. Definitely will be putting these lures to use. Definitely will be putting this mold to use. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it's time that I do a little contest. So we're gonna do a giveaway. One lucky subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a like and be sure to comment with that comment, all three. I'm gonna pick one of the comments. I'm gonna pick a subscriber from one of the comments, reach out to you and send you this right here in whatever pattern you would like. So again, you gotta be a subscriber. Just make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, like this video and leave a comment and I'm gonna be getting back to you. But for now, YouTube, I got a little bit of editing to do and a lot of fishing to do in the morning. So I'm going to end up getting going. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time. I'm Miguel Malenciano. This is Evolution Angler Bassett. Hope we're evolving together. See you next time.